as with many content creators on the internet, I use open broadcaster software to record and broadcast my screen and games and what have you. But one of the larger challenges when it comes to recording content is finding the balance between the desktop and the microphone. The easiest way to get around that, of course, is simply to uh, record both on separate tracks, because then you can balance them later. If there's a high spot, you can increase the volume of the microphone. If there's a low spot, you can have the background come through. But not a lot of people actually know how to uh, achieve this effect, and indeed how to then use it within their actual application, as not everyone has professional software that can recognize an MP4 with multiple tracks. The so first off, we're just going to go through and take a look at how you do it. Step one is to go into your settings. You'll need to find your way to your output and ensure that your recording is set to save to an MP4. You could theoretically use a MOV MKV or TS, but MP4 is the, uh, the global standard and there's no particular reason not to use it. The next thing you want to do is select which audio tracks you want enabled. In my case, audio track one is my audio and desktop. Audio track 2 is the microphone that I'm currently speaking into. And then if you've got more inputs that you want to use, you can go up to 4 tracks, which is more than sufficient for most, uh, most used cases. Once you've done that, you can go across to the Audio tab, make sure your audio bit rate is set to something nice, and if you want to, you can even rename the channels to something more interesting. You can keep all of your video and bit rate and what have you however you want it, Click OK, but we're not done yet. You then need to go over to Edit, Advanced Audio Properties, and you'll see here you've now got your desktop, mic auxiliary, all of your balances, and most importantly, on the right-hand side here, you've got your tracks. So you can assign which device is using which track. And indeed, if you want to have multiple devices on the same track, or spanning multiple tracks, you just tick the boxes that you want. In the case of the microphone, I have mine set to down mix to mono so that it appears in both uh, left and right audio channels. Because naturally, you don't want to hear me on the left hand side because that would be weird. So, once you've started and stopped recording and your file has been saved onto your local computer, you can then bring in your recording. And as you can see from the video playback here, you've got your desktop audio and your microphone audio. They're going on uh, two different bars and are recorded to two different tracks. Windows Media Player thankfully is able to play two different tracks back at the same time, meaning that you get to hear this wonderful cacophony of hearing my voice in uh, twice. Although of course the voice in the background will be down in the background because of the uh, audio balancing levels. However, if you try to import this MP4 into a lot of programs, such as Premiere Elements, possibly Sony Vegas, although I haven't tried that myself, and other non quote-unquote professional pieces of software, you may find that you only actually hear the one track. Let's demonstrate that now for you. So I've got here Adobe Premiere Elements 12. I'm just going to go ahead and drag in that short piece of video that I recorded. And if I take it down to the timeline, as you can see, you've only got one audio track. And if I come here and play it, you can hear the music but there's no talking. And this is because the Adobe Premiere Elements can't recognize the second track as something that you actually want to use. And even if you right-click, interpret footage, you know, check out its properties, there's no way you can do it. But do not despair, for there are free and open solutions that anyone can take advantage of. If you go ahead and get yourself a copy of Audacity and install the FFmpeg add-on, which you'll be able to find uh, information on. Go to Import, Audio, grab the video. You can see here I've now got two tracks that I can choose from. Track 1 being the one that Premiere Elements will recognize, track 2 being my audio, which it does not. If I go ahead and import it, I then simply go ahead and export it again. I'm just going to save it as a WAV. Why not? Save, skip any compression from MV3 or what have you. And then all I have to do is grab that web, drag it into the library, shove it onto the uh, track underneath, and now we have our multi-track. And most importantly, we can go ahead and individually adjust each channel however we want it, if we think that the audio is 
uh, the, the background music is too loud, we can just drop it down. If we think the voice is too quiet, ramp it up. And that's really as simple as it is. Once you've saved that file to your MP4, you can then have that finished file which has been balanced expertly, correctly, and in a manner that leaves you audible over the background noise. That's all from me for now.